everyone, it's Brittany here, and today I thought that I would do a process video. Um, I don't edit those, so just bear with me. It might get a little bit longer, but I've tried to pre-cut and get everything as quick as I can. That way it makes the video go faster and smoother. So first I'm going to go ahead and show you what we'll need, um, if you guys are going to follow along or just what I'm going to be using. So first I have some distress markers, and I chose Seedless Preserves, Worn, worn Lipstick, and Pumice Stone. So I chose those ones just because I think that those colors will go nicely together. And then for my background, I decided to use this one. And this is called Hexagon Background by Hero Arts. And it's a really large cling stamp, and I thought that would be kind of fun to watercolor with. So we won't get the greatest impression, but since it's a bold stamp, we should get some good colors. And then for my sentiment, I'm going to be using So Happy by Avriel. And I'm not exactly sure which one I'm going to use yet. I'm thinking Happy Birthday, but um, that could change. And then for my watercolor paper, this is the watercolor paper I use, which is by Kid Made Modern, and you can get this at Target. And there's 20 sheets in it. It's um, 7.5 by 9 inches. And it's super awesome, but cheap cardstock. I think it's like three bucks for a pack. Um, and this is the one that I found that I like the best. So that's what I'm going to be using. So I've already pre-cut my pieces. I have a card base, and then I have a backing layer, and then I have my watercolor layer, which is going to go on top of all of this. So first we're going to start with our backing. And what I'm going to do um, to get some color on there is I'm actually just going to set this stamp out and I'm going to start with my boldest color and so that's my dark purple and I'm just going to kind of brush on here trying to get in some of these little crevices and you don't have to be too perfect with this because since it is watercolor it's not going to show up you know perfect anyways and once we add some water it's all going to blend together pretty well anyways so I just want to get um, following that triangle effect, kind of just three major dots of this dark color. That way we have, you know, our triangle is done. And then these won't really take too much away from that. And I'm not, I want to try to stay away from the other colors a little bit, but I'm not too worried. Um, these markers, if you do get a little more color on it from one of the other colors, you can just scribble it and it'll come right off. And you want to get kind of close because you want to make sure that these colors are going to blend. And it might be kind of hard to see. I think you can mostly see what's been colored. Um, I know I can see pretty well what has and what has not been colored. So I'm just going to try and color the majority of this stamp. And if you do miss some, it's not a big deal. Because, like I said, we're going to spray some water and that's going to really make that ink move around anyways. So I think I have that pretty well covered. And then for this pink, I know that I did get it a little bit contaminated. So I'll just take it with some scratch paper. I had messed up on this card earlier. So I'll just take that and kind of color it off. And you can see it works fine. So there's that. And now I'm just going to take this away and I'm going to spritz it with some water. And I'm going to hold the water bottle about 6 to 8 inches away just because you don't want to get big globs. You just want to mist it. So you can kind of see there's a decent amount of water on there, but not too, too much. Let me find my watercolor piece again. Right here. Sorry, guys. Okay. And now I'm just going to lay this down on top. You could use a stamp press if you wanted, but since we have so much water on here, I think it's best just to push it on and I'm just going to rub with my fingers and if you do get any ink on the back it's not going to matter because we're going to adhere this to our backing piece anyways. So you just want to give that a good rub. If you had a brayer, I have one but I didn't grab it so I'm not going to worry about it. And then lift up and I think that turned out really cool. So I really actually got an awesome impression there. And then this I'll just set aside and we can wipe that off with some water when we're done. So I think that that's, that looks really good. So I'm just going to set that aside to dry as well. 
And now I'm going to take some scrap white cardstock. So I have this piece here. And I'm going to take the Happy Birthday stamp set, or the Happy Birthday stamp from this set. And I think that that'll look cool with that um, watercolor background. And my block is over here. Sorry, you guys. So I'm going to do that. And then I think that for my... Um, sentiment. I'm going to use the Color Theory Coral Bay. And I just got these inks in um, before I went on my vacation. And I really like these. They are a different kind of ink. I still love my Hero Arts inks. But these are really fun to play with. And I really like that they're tiny and I can just set them here on my desk. So I'm just going to kind of center this-ish on my scrap piece. And I think that that looks really cute and it matches pretty well with this pink. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that up. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is cutting this into a banner. So I'm just going to trim that off. And it, it dries really quick too, which I like. I like the um, Hero Arts inks. So I like that, and then I'm just going to make a quick little banner on the end of this. And I'm just going to cut into the middle here, and then cut in from these corners. And then we have a nice banner shape. And now just to make this pop a little bit on here. What I'm going to do is take my purple seedless preserves and I'm just going to lightly brush the edges of this just to give it a finished look and it, it won't have those stark white edges. You just want to make sure you get in all the crevices. And it's not going to make a total huge difference but it's going to be, it's just going to add that little finishing touch. So you can kind of see it on there, how it just has a light little border. And now I think I like that. Um, could maybe add a decorative brad here. I don't think I'm going to. I think that the background's pretty busy. So I don't, I might, let's see. Um, since I might add a brad, I'm just going to go ahead and put this down with some adhesive tape in there. And I want it semi-centered, maybe a little closer to the bottom. And just lay it across there. And I'm just going to snip this little tail off. And I got a little fingerprint there, but I will show you guys how I'm going to try to fix that here in a second. So there's that. And then if I had used watercolor paper, I could really get that wet and then um, it would lift up pretty easy. But I have this galaxy marker. It's just a white marker. And I'm going to kind of try to, yeah, that's not, it picked it up a little bit, but that's okay because I'm going to grab a brad really quick. So just one second. I think I'm going to go with a neutral color, probably silver, just to bring out some of the gray in my background here. And hopefully I can find one that'll fit there and kind of cover my mistake. I can do I have some shimmery ones. I'm going to try and find one. Like, here's this one. I think that's really cute. It's got the glitter in there. So, let's try that and see how that looks. Okay, I think that'll look fine. So, I'm just going to go ahead, and usually I would get my piercing mat, but I didn't plan that. So, I'm just going to poke a hole in there with my scissors. And it doesn't have to be huge, because once you get your brat in, you can kind of make it fit. 
So I've got it in there and I'm just going to secure it down. And it's kind of close, but I like the way that looks. I think it looks cute. So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and adhere this to my backing piece. So I'm just going to make sure I get enough adhesive and go over that brad. And then I'm just going to center it onto this piece. Trying to be careful if it's not completely dry. So I think that that looks super cute, and I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that to my card base. And there it is. I think that looks super cute, and it's a super fun and easy card. And with that same background that we used, if we spritzed it again, since I haven't cleaned it yet, if you spritz it again, I'll try and show you guys here. Now, I spritzed it one more time, and this is just a scrap piece of paper. Um, I was working on a card earlier, but it didn't turn out how I had planned. So, I'm going to show you, though, that if you wet that again and stamp down, you still get... An, an image and I could probably even squirt it again and get one more it'll just be a lot softer and this isn't watercolor paper so it's not going to hold it real well but I will give you kind of a comparison so the first one's pretty bold and this one's a little bit softer but you could still get a good three cards out of this um, one time of coloring your stamp so I think this is just a super fun technique and I thought I'd share it with you guys Thank you all for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.